This is Akashwani. The news read by Anuja Kumar. Union Minister for Railways, Information and Broadcasting, Electronics and IT, Ashwini Vaishno, inspected the newly manufactured Vande Bharat sleeper coach at BEML facility at Bengaluru today. He announced that the newly designed and manufactured Vande Bharat sleeper version is ready for testing and a trial run and will roll out of the facility in the next few days. After his visit to BEML, the minister is also scheduled to virtually flag off Pilibhit to Melani train service from the VIP terminal of Kempe Gowda International Airport in Bengaluru in the evening. Vice President Jadeep Dhankar has described the decision to admit girls in military schools as a game changer. He stated that this move reflects significant progress in gender equality and gender justice. Addressing the RIMC cadets at Uttarakhand's Rashtriya Indian Military College in Dehradun today, Mr. Dhankar emphasized that they are being prepared to tackle future challenges and contribute to global welfare. Mr. Dhankar will also visit Ames Rishikesh today, where he will meet and interact with the students and faculty members of the institute. A. Marshal Tejinder Singh took over as the Deputy Chief of the Air Staff of the Indian Air Force in New Delhi today. After assumption of his new appointment, he paid homage to the brave hearts who gave the supreme sacrifice by laying a wreath at the National War Memorial. A. Marshal Tejinder is an alumnus of the National Defence Academy and commissioned in the fighter stream of the IAF on 13th of June 1987. The Andhra Pradesh State Disaster Management Authority has issued an update regarding the recent cyclonic storm Asna that crossed the coast near Kalingapatinam between 12.30 a.m. and 2.30 a.m. last night, significantly impacting the northern Andhra Pradesh and southern Odisha. As a result of this storm, several districts in the region are expected to experience varying levels of rainfall throughout the day. In light of these developments, residents in low-lying areas are urged to remain vigilant and take all necessary precautions to ensure their safety. Additionally, the Disaster Management Authority has issued a first-level flood warning for the Krishna River at Prakasam Baraj, where the current inflow and outflow have been recorded at 5,250 cusics. Those residing in riverine areas should remain alert and heed all warnings. The Disaster Management Authority strongly advises the public to avoid going near canals, culverts and manholes, as well as towards fallen power lines and electric poles, which may pose serious hazards. In Maharashtra, rain has subsided in most areas, including the capital city of Mumbai and its suburbs. The IMD has issued a red alert for three districts, Jalna, Parbhani and Hingoli. An orange alert has been issued for Nandir and Latur. Nandir district in particular has been experiencing incessant rainfall for the past 24 hours. The IMD has issued a warning for isolated extremely heavy rainfall over Vidarbh, Telangana, Rayal Sima and interior and coastal Karnataka today. Heavy rainfall is very likely over East Rajasthan, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Haryana, Punjab and Chandigarh till tomorrow. The weather agency predicted the same for West Madhya Pradesh and Maratwada. Meanwhile, extremely heavy rains lashed several parts of Telangana, leading to inundation of low-lying areas and disruption of road links between villages in several places. Many districts witnessed swollen rivulets causing significant road disruptions. Control rooms have been opened at district collectorates and state secretariat in Hyderabad. Relief camps are being opened as many areas are reeling under inundation. Chief Minister Devant Reddy has directed the authorities to take measures to prevent any loss of life and property. On the fourth day of Paris Paralympics 2024, India will look to add more medals to the tally in various events today. In athletics, India's Ravi Rangoli will be in action in men's short put F40 final, while Nishad Kumar will eye a podium finish in the men's high jump T47 event final. And that is the end of this news bulletin. <laughs> 